Yeah, I can't believe how how much they're into periite and all that, right? They're like willingly taking on suffering and hardship for periite and like even still periite is like sending people to kill them and they're still like all up on worshiping periite and everything despite like all the hell that periite has put through them or put them through right that's just so wild to me i i can't imagine worshiping a daedric prince who does that to you or your people you know When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had finally found all of the requisite reagents for Kesh the Clean at the Shrine of Periite, and it was there that they began to commune with the Daedric Prince Periite, and Periite did answer their call by sending several spectral skeevers and allowing them to get high as hell. And when Periite spoke, they had another request. To seek out some weird dude who came from High Rock, I guess? Some nearby Breton village, or not nearby, but had shepherded a bunch of afflicted people to a nearby Daedric ruin. And it was there that the last dragonborn sought to slay them all, and in fact please Periite in order to recover a cool item. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Welcome back. There we go. We're also here with Rallis, who is watching either Gordon or the spinning slasher in the center, and Gordon, who is here eating dirt. <laughs> As per usual, let's continue. Did we already check over here? I think we did. Let's chow down on a quick salmon real fast. Alright. Yep, looks like some, uh, looks like you're a standard Dwemer ruin. You got a little bit of rock up in here and a little fucking heat light thing up in here, not turned on. The fucking kerosene or whatever isn't running. Little thing fell over into a rock. What's, uh, oh shit, oh, this is not yet the entryway. Ooh, it's one deeper still. Let's just be like a really short dungeon, huh? Got their vats for oil and or using the restroom. Secret treasure chest filled with one gold. My goodness. Okay. Should we take this? Huh. Alright. More of these. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Cool. More big brass vats anything over here just a corner of dirt cool a big old chunk of rock where did it come from who knows <laughs> as per usual there's a whole bunch of rubble in here but no clear signs of where the fuck it came from huh just as the dwemer disappeared so too did a whole bunch of rocks reappear <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bethardum's upper district. Ooh, an upper district. All right, it, it sounds like this may be a big place. Oh, what an, an inviting glow! Look at this. A nice warm, like orangey yellow. Ooh, and it contrasts very well with the like <laughs> the vats of toxic waste. Why do they have this here? Look, it's like moving as well. Does it hurt me? I almost expect to, like, get some rads upon walking on it. <laughs> right here, the Geiger counters start ticking. <laughs> Good God. There it. Better pop my rad X before I head in here. Oh! <laughs> there it. Lest we be afflicted with the FEV, right? Oh, dear. You don't want to take a tumble into this. All right. Let's see. You'll never set foot into a water purifier ever again. If you do that, now that's a deep cut. That's a fucking deep fallout cut for you. Let's see over here. Should we take all these fun things? We'll take the amulet of Debella. Maybe we'll leave the circlet of peerless. Eh, I'll take it all. Fuck it. Worst case, we'll just drop it on the way out. You know how it is. Okay. Wow, they sure are collecting a whole bunch in here. Is this? I thought this is like the shit we used to get high off of for periite, but. 
Is it actually, like, disease? I don't know. Can I actually jump into it? Huh. No, that's how viscous it is. It's like a whole thing of gelatinous jelly. Cool. Alright. Over here. What's up with this? Lava skate. Okay. We'll see what's over here. Ooh, I heard someone yawn. Stealth mode activate. Okay. Got some beds here for them to sleep in. Ah, look. A sleeping friend. One of the afflicted. I'll take their money. I'll take their everything. That's pickpocketing XP, baby. Can I sneak a little poison into them? Do I have that ability yet? They're too powerful for deadly fear poison. Okay. What if poison doesn't even work on them, you know? Hmm. Mystic Venom. <laughs> you really are afflicted now. Five points of damage. <laughs> I'm fucked up, Rallis. Look, I'm the most fucked up dude around. Five points of poison damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else do I have that I can throw on them? Can I, like, force them to take... Like, can I... <laughs> if, you, if you put, like, other stuff on them, do they just take it? <laughs> I don't know. Like, if I, if I force them to take... A potion of invisibility. No? They don't just turn invis... <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, what else can we do here? Can I... Too bad I can't just sneak... I sneak a dagger back onto you, into your mouth, into your throat, <laughs> right? Come on, if I can do that, come on, why, why can't I just sneak a dagger right into your eyeball? Do I actually get XP from taking it back? Man, Rallis, is this person even alive? I don't even know at this point. It says I'm pickpocketing, but fuck. They're fucking dead now, baby. <laughs> what have you got? Anything good? Elven equipment? Sure. Some nice lanterns. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised there aren't more regular cities built like Markarth in pre-existing Dwemer ruins. Because, you know, sure, a lot of them have wild booby traps and stuff, but eventually they get disarmed. Right? Every few hundred years, there's going to be some, like, prophesied uh, hero or whatever who comes by and disarms a whole bunch of booby traps and whatnot. Makes it safe to, like, set up house in. Because, you know, sure, there's rubble and stuff everywhere, but they've been around for a while. Gotta figure they're kind of sturdy. Okay. Are these people even mean? Like, am I just murdering them? We'll check with this last person. I might just be murdering innocent people here. <laughs> like, innocent sick people. Like, th this might be like their medical ward. I'm just going through here, like, smashing their brains in with my fucking mallet. Okay. Let's see. Hey! Are you angry? You look kinda angry. Oh, fuck! Oh, Rallis! Jesus! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rallis. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, you scared the shit out of me. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't even bother to check if... Uh, they must have showed up red on the dude dart. Someone go check the tape on that. <laughs> Alright. Rallis saw. Rallis was looking at the radar at the top. <laughs> Threat detected. <laughs> Terminate instantly. Fucking Rallis, the Terminator. Okay. Let's continue proceeding through here. Do you think their affliction makes them uh, less able to perceive me in my stealthy mode? I'd reckon that's the case. Alright. Oh dear. Cool. Man, did I just say reckon? I'd reckon? Fuck, am I bringing it back? Have I said reckon before in a video? I, I reckon I have. <laughs> it's the kind of thing I, I would type out for sure, but I don't know if I've ever actually said it aloud. Probably. 
All right, let's bring it back, you know? We'll bring back Holy Wackadoo, too. Let's see, anything else? Hmm, look, they must have sucked these dry. Okay, or maybe this is their, like... Oh, what if this isn't their, like, drug or whatever? But this is, like, their vomit and, like, piss and shit. What if this is, like, being excreted from their bods? Oh, shit. They're creating a lot of... Mass? I guess? Is a nice way to put it? Alright. Oh, dear. Good. Yeah, they're cultivating in a major way. Almost sound like something else was gonna happen upon entering. Okay. Silver amethyst ring. Good. Alright. Let's continue down and around. See what other weirdos lurk within. What time of day is it? Yeah, it's 6.42 p.m. They must just be, like, not feeling great. How come the other ones outside were feeling up enough to, like, try and kill me? Hmm. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have down here? Oh look, fun. A little halfway... sort of staircase, right? Huh. Is this like... What do you think this... Oh. Our leader, or gender, has led us here, and for that we are thankful. He has shown us that our suffering is not a punishment, but a blessing. Yes, a blessing. For many months we have sought your guidance, yet we have heard nothing from you. If we do not please you, give us a sign so that we may understand why. Yes, a sign. We are lost without your guidance. Hang on. The Daedric Prince Periite has solicited me to kill an elf named Orchender. So they're followers of Periite. Why did Periite want me to kill them again? I don't even remember now. On the ninth of rain's hand, our prayers went unanswered. Yet here we stand, not faltering in our belief that soon you will show yourself to us. Yes, show yourself to us. Until that day, we will continue to devote our lives to you and suffer for you. Jeez. Yes, suffer for you. Man, why not pick a different Daedric Prince? Right? Good God, Sanguine seems way better of a pick. <laughs> you know? Are you just party all the time? <laughs> rather than this? Sheesh. What leads someone down this path, huh? Okay. Well. Is someone there? Here's your sign! Ah! Okay. There we are. Gotcha. Ooh, y'all are barfing on me for real. Oh, gross. Oh, man. Can I learn to do that? I want to be able to do that. <laughs> I know I got my other one, right? The, um, hang on. Is it recharged by now? What is it? Let's see. But I can't do it very often, you know? Hmm. Is this it? Mora's Agony? This might be it. We'll give it a shot. Okay. We'll just have, like, some big barf battle. Okay, cool. Yeah, this was the Periite pillar from before. Remember? It was holding up that rock. Weird. Okay. What's over here? Just some strange farting fence. Cool. Love it. I wonder why the Dwemer ruin. You know? Maybe it's just a coincidence. But they must have crafted... Yeah, how is this here? Odd. Because the Dwemer wouldn't have put this here. They must have, like, labored and hauled this big-ass pillar and put it right there. Right? Because the Dwemer are, like, atheistic, right? They don't believe not only in Adra, but... Well, they believe in them, but they choose to... Say fuck you. The majority of the, the Dwemer choose to say fuck you to um, Aedra and Daedra, right? It's not so much that they don't believe that they exist, but rather they 
they think that they are dumb. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's proceed up here. Can we sneak past this person? This just looks like a guy. You found me. Here you go. Eat some of this. Oh shit. Did I do that? Fuck, I guess so. I thought I used the, the agony, but I guess I summoned a fucking werebear instead. How do I summon the tentacle stuff? Oh, there it goes. Oh, man. <laughs> How come the bear came out? Well, it's pretty cool. I will say that much. <laughs> All right, look at it go. Wow, if only we could get this to... Wow, it knocks people all over the place. Holy shit. I love it. Cool. All right. Let's see, anything else here? Hmm. Oh, there's some money. I'll take that. Okay. Look at this thing. All right, fun. Hmm. What else do we have here? Look at this. What an odd construction for this giant pipe. Okay. I can dig it, though. Look, there's more of these pedestals and stuff. I wonder what used to be here, you know? Because it must have been something up here. Oh, look! It's these green vines growing again. Oh, weird. Look, they're... They're coming back. They're, like, all over the place. Periites on some, like, poison ivy shit, huh? <gasps> Ew. Look at that. Oh, what the hell? Okay. What is all this stuff? Oh, look. I can activate lever. Oh, I see. Opens the spear gate, or whatever you want to call that. Okay. Hey, do you think I can get on top of this thing? Oh, shit! Oh, almost! Oh, I'm like balancing on its little weird head. Hang on. Okay. Let's, uh, let's put something up here. Apple pie. Fuck! Oh, no! Okay, okay, hang on. One more. Shit! Okay, fine. It can't be done. <laughs> All right. Let's go and look over here. Do you think there's some secret thing up there? Could be. Hmm. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's flick this on. What have we got? We got anything cool here? Looks like a bunch of rocks, honestly. <laughs> okay, we can't exactly walk. Oh, we can kind of walk on it. It definitely doesn't seem like it's going to lead us to anything interesting, though. Seems very unintentional that we're meant to- that we could walk on it. Huh. Okay. Weird. And look, there's some ore here. Gold, even. Let's dig this stuff up. Why not, right? Okay. There we are. Lovely. Alright. Let's head on up and over. Is this stuff flammable, by the way? Hang on. Do I have, like, a fireball? Yeah. No. Okay. It's just nasty looking. Oh, look. What's this? Is this a little secret here? No, it's not. Okay. Fair enough. Worth checking out, though. Worth checking out. Doing our due diligence as best we can. You know, sometimes we miss some stuff, but hey, it's fun whenever we find something. Oh, look. Wow. The chandelier or whatever is really casting some immense shadows, huh? Whereas this, however, no shadows whatsoever. Wild. <laughs> okay. Reminds me of, speaking of Fallout earlier, the, in Fallout 4, the barrels and stuff that you can place... And when you place them, they, like, cast their own shadows for each of the little grooves in the barrels because it's got, like, I don't know what you would call it, the fencing or something? 
and you can see like it casts shadows everywhere. Hell on your performance, I guess, if you put down too many of those, but it looks really nice. Really gets me excited for what Starfield will be up to with regards to lighting and whatnot. Oh. Oh, thank you, Gordon. Give me a flawless garnet. Wow, appreciate that. Okay, should we go down there or over here? Let's see, is this even locked? Can we even access this? Oh, this looks like the way to go. Okay, we'll close that. That way we... It, it's like a reminder for us to open it. Well, let's see where this goes. Munching a little food. Hopefully we find like a bed or something. Oh, it leads right into the wall. Wall treasure. Glass maze of lightning and a big hunk of metal. We don't really need that. Okay. Hmm. Anything over this way? No, nah, not really. Okay. Odd. It wasn't even, like, barred off from rubble or whatever. I guess I just didn't... They left it modular. Open for more construction. Okay. Hmm. Anything else around here? Should we check up this way before we head downward? I think so. Oh, look. What is this? The sauna? Oh, some little dude's gonna come out of the wall, huh? Fuck me. The pipe situation... seems weirdly intricate. Like, we got a lot of unnecessary bends going on here. Someone was just showing off their pipe work. <laughs> right? Let's see where this other asshole go. Are you flanking me? There you are. Eat a butt. I guess we can take the bolts. Why not? Solid metal there. More bolts. Take a soul gem. Check the treasure. Glass battle axe. Helmet. Take the rest of the knickknacks, though. Some restoratives. Yeah, look at this. See, this up here... Why does this need to even come into the room? What's going on here? It's just for looks, I think. For all we know, there's not even anything that goes through this pipe. It's just for... For looking fun. <laughs> right? Maybe half the pipes and stuff that we see are, are purely decorative. Ah, the Dwemer. So strange and mysterious. Okay. Looks like we can go down there. Maybe that's the final showdown area, you know? Okay. Let's proceed. Oh, shit. Oh, booby trap. Look, one of the afflicted slain by it just as well. Rallus, don't kill me. Very good. Oh, look. Ooh. This looks different. We've never seen some shit like this before. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Let's sneak ahead. Look, they're, they're like, thriving down here. They've really reclaimed the whole Dwemer situation. Okay. Smack them up. Smack them down. There. Yeah, they're like most of them are just dressed in regular outfits and stuff. Okay. Let's see over here. Gold. Yeah, I can't believe how how much they're into Periite and all that, right? They're like willingly taking on suffering and hardship for Periite. And, like, even still, Periite is, like, sending people to kill them. And they're still, like, all up on worshipping Periite and everything. Despite, like, all the hell that Periite has put through them. Or put them through. Right? That's just so wild to me. I I can't imagine worshipping a Daedric Prince who does that to you. Or your people. You know? Can't imagine that. <laughs> 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 Let's get on out of here. <laughs> okay. 
Here we are. Ooh, into the workshop. Is this where they make all the nasty stuff? Hmm. Is someone there? Oh. Okay. Now you're mine. Hell there. Ah, uh, yeah. Barfing on me. I don't even know what it does. Never should have. If we were back in Oblivion or Morrowind, I bet it would fuck up our armor, you know? Cause some kind of rapid erosion. Oh look, Afflicted's note. Ochender has gone down to the aer aerodrome. He believes some of the old Dwemer machines down there will help him commune with our blighted lord. Ooh, really? The machines? Huh. Fascinating, okay. Do you think we should rest here while we have the opportunity? I know there's a lot more beds further out, but maybe we should do it right now. Take a little nap. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see, let's go for eight hours. Why not? Seems like a good maneuver, because I don't know how fucking big this place is. Like, how deep are we going to go into this shit? Jeez. Alright. Feeling refreshed. Eat a little salmon. Good. Yep. Just another big bowl of nasty shit. Okay. It must be coming from in here or out of them. Right? Like, yeah, when they barf... Are they just collecting it all? This is just all their, like, piss, shit, and vomit for real? Because <laughs> it definitely comes out of their mouths, but... I guess they just collect it everywhere. They, like, revere in some way because it's a gift from Periite through them. It's Periite speaking through them. They're, like, excrement and barf and everything, right? So they just kind of, like, put it up on pedestals and they worship it. Right, could you, <laughs> yo, could you imagine all these fucking people showing up? To like those big uh, statues and stuff on the pedestals, just every every so often as like part of their routine uh, faith or whatever, and they just start barfing all over it, just all communally. They're just all oh shit, they're just all barfing onto this fucking like shrine or whatever the hell. <laughs> Fuck, that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> I love that for them. <laughs> okay, let's heal on up. Good. Oh shit. The little spider lords. How did they not kill them? Hmm. Maybe they know something about them. You think? Okay. Ooh, look at that. Dude is over here burping. Alright, let's run him down. Good stuff. Good. Okay, take all this. I wish it would be so cool if, like, the knockback on my shield charge, um, it scaled further with block or something like that, right? Like, there was some way to increase the knockback effect on it even further. I would love that. Okay, over here. Should we check this out? Hmm. Ooh, into the upper district. Oh, weird. Okay. Let's keep searching until we get to, like, the workshop or another door or something. And then we'll check- oh shit, I already looked in there. And then we'll check out the upper district again. I think we were there- yeah, that was the first part of the map. Maybe that's the loop around? And it'll show us, like, a fun little entry point or whatever? I don't know. No, because didn't we see the loop around outside? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, some clean water for once. Oh, maybe that's their pee. Nah, I'm sure they pee this stuff out, too. Every time anything comes out of their body, it's this. Barf, pee, poop, crying, earwax. Any hole you got in your body. Any. <laughs> and let's, let's go on up here and see where this puts us out at. Okay. What have we got? Oh. Okay. What have we got in this? Oh look, there's some folks over there. 
Is this like a different angle from the like trench that we sort of ran through? I think it is. What in the world? What? What the heck? We could get over there, you know? Should we? I'm kind of really tempted to. We could fly over that direction if we want. And I kind of really feel like I want to. Oh, look at this. More nasty shit. What's really wild is that they're like piss shit, vomit, and everything. Just gets... You get some roots growing or whatever. Right? How's the roots just appearing like that? I don't know. Okay. Oh, look, I could probably also get onto that, like, the roofing there, the terrace or whatever. Let's try that. Whoa! Oh! No! <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. Wow, cool. Reminds me of that, um, one of those Mario 64 levels with the water levels. There's like a level in there where it was like in a city and whatnot, and you could change the water level. Took I could never figure it out as a kid, but when I went and replayed it in like my teens or whatever, I finally figured it out, and I felt so proud of myself. Level terrified me because there were these little dudes who would like flip Mario up into the air and like hurt the shit out of him. And Mario would like scream in agony and it scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh my god, these are robots, I can't even kill them. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. It's me! <laughs> I'm over here. Let's go say hello to them. Oh, look. Some ore here. Just as well. I think we can get up right this... Yeah, there we go. Good. Gold ore. Okay. Where are they at? Above us? Yeah. Okay, let's dig this up first real quick. With this gold. There we go. A lot of gold up in here. It's got to be said. Okay. Man, could you imagine them hauling around? Like, do you think they spilled any? If it's such a sacred thing to them, all their, like, refuse, all their nasty green, all their green. Do you think they, when they were, like, coming over here from High Rock or wherever the hell, right? Because I definitely remember that part, that they were, like, shepherded here. Right? This person was, like, described as some sort of plague shepherd or whatever, right? Do you think when they were, like, running across the fields of High Rock and all that shit going around in the midst of the fucking, like, <laughs> Aldmeri Dominion's uh, sort of higher heightened security and shit, they were just hauling around big wagons of, like, their own piss and shit? Like, how fucking gross is that, dude? Ugh. And then if they spill a little bit onto the road, immediately, like, five of them just jump off of their, like, wagons or wherever they're they're at and, like, leap onto the ground and start licking it right off the ground because they can't waste, like, a gram of it. <laughs> All right. It's like you drop a... You're preparing some food or whatever, and you have a pet and you drop some of it. And they just lunge for it on the ground. <laughs> just like, this is my chance. I'll do you proud, Perry. I'm going to eat my own shit off of the floor. <laughs> okay. So now where the hell are we? That's the lower district. This area seems familiar. Or maybe I'm just tripping balls. Oh, look at that. Look at this design here. It's like steps on the wall. Wow, these Dwemer. Their ingenuity knows no bounds. <laughs> they had the treasure chest on the wall. Now they got stairs on the wall? Holy shit. They are kicking things up a notch here in Bethardums. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, this is treasure right here. <laughs> I wonder, maybe Periite is like especially angry at the Dwemer? I don't know. But then why send me here to kill him? I think there's definitely some part of this whole situation that we don't fully know or understand. You know? 
All right, I guess we're just gonna go up into that weird hole or doorway even and see what's in there. Here we are. Good thing about this dungeon though, plenty of places to rest and sleep, right? Very good. Maybe that's one of the nicer things about most of the Dwemer slash Falmer dungeons is that frequently you get a bed, right? Whereas like a big cave, not always going to get a bedroll from a bandit or whatever, you know? Certainly if there's, like, if it's a wildlife kind of cave or whatever, right? But these, they're meant to be, like, lived-in places. Where the Dwemer lived and, like, went about their business. Whatever kind of weird shit they did in a place designed like this. <laughs> okay. How about this? What have we got in here? Eh, a little bit of money. Very good. Okay. What are these things going to do? Like, smash me into the wall, turn me into a fucking mashed potato? Uh, brace for impact! Oh, no, little dudes come out. Okay. Good. Get some oil. Soul gem. Take all that. We'll leave the corundum. Man, I shouldn't have, uh, jumped into that little area, because now I'm completely lost. I don't even know where the fuck I am now. Oh, look. Is this, like, a throne room or something? Oh, shit. <gasps> right. Some, like, fucked up Dwemer torture device yeah. for everyone to watch, because, you know, they were fucked up as shit. Okay. I feel like half the people who are... <laughs> <laughs> who are like, uh, oh yeah, I love the Dwemer and stuff. I wish the, the the dwarves came back and I could like play as them. I feel like half of them are like fucking sickos, right? And they're like, hey, yeah, I want to be a fucked up weirdo, right? And which, all right, respect. But then I feel like another 50% are people who don't fully comprehend the lore. Like they haven't fully internalized what the hell is going on with the Dwemer and that they're actually incredibly fucked up people, right? <laughs> like, oh, I love the Dwemer. They're so cute. They're so nice and friendly. But they're fucked as shit, dude. They're so sadistic and fucked up. <laughs> okay. Can we get on top of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh, we got in here? Oh, nine gold. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this was just a place for them to, like, all chill out and watch someone get fucked up and like shredded and not in like a sexy way but like in a way where like you turn into a fucking like you get ran through a cheese grater all right let's go down here see what's up with this i have no idea which direction we're going we're just seeing places that we can go and we're going there <laughs> where will we come out who knows who knows Look, there's some, like, weird pustules. Can I, like, bop them? I want to bop them. This is just going to become, like, a pimple-popping video. Yeah! Poof! Oh, shit, you can! Wow. Thank you. Wow, you asked, and the developers answered. Holy shit. I love it. Hmm. So I guess the plants are also toxic in some way and are going to, like, pop out some nasty stuff. Some green. Oh, look! There's, like, some lovely, pure-looking fresh water. Okay. Oh, cool. I bet it hurts me, huh? I'm gonna be, like, a weird freak. Wow, I can't... Poof! It only works if I yell at it. Maybe if you use magic, too. Look, it, it's, like, flammable, too, after you do it. Oh, I wonder if we shoot a fireball. Look. Here we go. Fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Jeez, they're so, they're so easy that Rallis can just, like, straight up annihilate them without... Any special equipment. Man, could you imagine coming through here and not being able to pop these things? What a nightmare. I feel like I have to pop all of them. At least as many as I can find. 
Like, do you think these also get popped? Oh, shit. Let's see. Let's get the fireball. Good. Nah, didn't think so. Okay. Is that something up there? A little secret treasure? I'd believe it. You know someone had a lot of fun designing this shit if there's... Like, fun little secret treasures around here. Have to imagine it's... It's quite enjoyable to be designing these dungeons and whatnot. Especially, like, in the future when you can go through and see other people play through it and whatnot. Right? There must be some degree of joy in doing it. Okay. Is there anything fun over here? Nah, it just leads outward. Okay. Very well. Probably water that would normally be used for cooling, you know, to produce the steam. Run it up against some magma lava. Okay. Anything over here? Looks good. Alright. Dude, this place is expansive. It's gotta be said. There we go. Gotcha. Heal on up here. Take your magic powers. Cool. Look at its spinning butt. Love that. Yeah, look at that butt spin. It's like a ball bearing or something. Okay. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Look. Now the Dwemer designed this big circle to like... Well, encircle it. <laughs> I guess to walk around it or something? I don't know. Very lovely. That? Okay, what have we got over here? Got some picks. 20 here. big ones. There goes Rallis. Okay. Yeah, I guess it checks out, right? With them being just people from a village that most of them would be unarmored. They're just in, like, plain clothes that you would expect to see from people who just came over from a fucking village, right? Like, these people probably chilled out at, like, the temple. The other dude was, like, a merchant. Lumberjack somewhere, you know? Oh, look at that thing. What the hell happened there? Gordon, did you set that off? I bet you did. Okay. Got some more vomit right there. Cool. Love it. Gotta take a look at this for sure. Ah, oh, look at that. Mmm. I bet it would smell nice if not for all the nasty stuff nearby that probably smells like shit. <laughs> right, you get a nice, cool, misty breeze or whatever. Oh. Alright. That said, maybe that wouldn't be too refreshing in Skyrim. Right? <laughs> Where it's, it's pretty cold. There's probably still a joy to it, though, to be had. Just would be a lot more refreshing in a more hotter climate. <laughs> okay, let's continue through here. Oh, look, more gold. Wow, a lot of gold up in here. There we are. Good. Okay, let's continue up this way. Anything gonna pop out of these? Yep. Little butt heads. Let's take their stuff. Cool. And... Good stuff. Ooh, there was some ebony. You know what? I will take that. Probably don't even need it, but I can't say no to the ebony, huh? Okay. Do you think this is the workshop? No, this is the study. Wow. This dungeon might be so big, we might not be able to finish it. Right? We might have to come back for a, a round two or something, you know? Let's see. Wow, look at that. Also, it doesn't help that, like, every so often I'm, like, stopping and being amazed. Like, at this gigantic button! Wow, so big! How did they do it? The Dwemer! <laughs> they're, they're wild! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Speed on along here before it comes to life and kills me. Oh, God. There's a dude here, too. 
Okay. We'll take all these. Beautiful. Having fun there, Alice? Oh, did it go away when I killed this dude? Seems that way, huh? Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay, just a fun little place to, like, vomit and all that. They're running out of barrels. Maybe their whole goal is to, like, vomit so much it fills up the entire ruin. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, look, we're back in the lower district. <laughs> Rallis. <laughs> I love it. Such a fucking, like, grumpy-ass old man. <laughs> God, I can't wait for that to be me one day. All right. Really looking forward to just being a, a strange balding old man who makes odd grunts from now and then. Fuck. It's gonna be fucking great. Okay. Over here. Ah, look, a secret treasure. Oh, yeah. Look forward to Morrowind Monday's 5,479. Huh? <laughs> it's just that nonstop. Okay. Down here. Hey, watch it. Over here. I don't even know if <laughs> five thousand. That seems like that seems like a lot. <laughs> I don't think that's physically possible. <laughs> I'm not sure how the math works out on that. Well, no, it could, right? Five thousand. Hmm. Because that would be like fifty something years, wouldn't it? Because 5,200 would be... Oh, shit, I don't even fucking know. Listen to me trying to do math in my head. Not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Let's take all this. Yep, look. Here's where they sit down and just vomit onto the table. <laughs> wow. Really cool. Okay. Over here. Take a pick, why not? Chow down on a little food. Yeah, that person was a barkeep. Okay. Sure. Sure fucking hope we're going the right way. <laughs> oh, look, here's the other end of the waterfall. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. If this were real life, I would just want to reach my hand out and feel it like spray splash upon you. You know? Okay. Sort of like when you're at a grocery store or whatever. They don't do this really anymore, at least not around here. And in the fresh produce area, the the stuff would spray out. You know? The water. <laughs> that, you know, the stuff. The water to keep it fresh and like sort of glisten in the store's lights. I don't remember where I mentioned this, but I'm pretty sure like they put an end to that because of people like me. Or kids like me. <laughs> Cause you don't- that's- that's not what you want. You don't want some, like, snot-nosed kid putting their hands out and getting the spray on them. Right- right as- <laughs> right as- right on top of your fresh produce. That's a little fucking gross. <laughs> okay, let's go up here, I guess? That, oh, shoo! I don't know how I didn't fall, but I didn't. What if we already killed the big boss? No, we would have got like a quest update. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this. Did we go this way? We must have. There's a door here that got opened. Unless maybe that was an NPC who did that. Yeah, this doesn't look too familiar. Does it? Dude, we're lost as shit. <laughs> okay. The Arcanix. Alright. What do we got in here? Pop on out, you bastard. <laughs> Pop out. Come on, get me. No? Oh my god! What? I don't think I've ever done this fucking quest. I don't remember this shit. Wow, look at the lighting and everything. Wow. Yeah. How beautiful. Okay. 
That's wild. Man, I guess I must have never done the parry eye quest. No, I must have. I must have just forgotten. It. Maybe I just flew through it so quick I never like took the time to appreciate it, really? Because I'm pretty sure I remember having the shield. I'm almost positive I remember that. Sorry, I'm just gonna take all this here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Easier to take it as they're dying, right? Rather than having to sift through all the bodies. Okay. Which reminds me, actually, um... What do you call it? 76, Fallout 76 added in, like, AoE looting and whatnot. Which has been kind of a great help in that game. So it's way harder to lose track of bodies and whatnot. I don't know if I'd want it in the single player stuff, but certainly like in something that has a bit more of a loot focus. I don't know. You know what? Make it like a perk or something that you unlock, right? That would be cool. Have it be like something that unlocks and you can have turned on by way of like leveling up one of your stats or whatever or doing a certain quest that gives you the ability to AoE loot. Now that's a cool idea, huh? And look. Oh, goes down to the gate. Wow, that was really dangerous. I probably should not have walked on top of it like that. What if it, like, sucked me up? Okay. Let's go on over here. Cool. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Jeez, we did good coming here during the daytime. I wonder if it looks nearly as glorious at night. I guess you could construe that, like, you know, moonlight could come through. Just have it be a little bit dimmer. Oh, look. We got a marker here on this floor. That said, this is not the workshop, is it? This is the Ar Arcanex. Arcanex. Hmm. Can I... Can I get up over to that? Looked like there was something in there. Hmm. Let's see. Anyone in here? Nope. Oh, I can loop around the other end. Okay. Ooh, there's a big blaster down there. Hey, Rallis. Why don't you go check that dude out? Right away. <laughs> Get him, Rallis. Get him. Oh, wow. I thought that the big ba ballista would, like, fire away, but no. Rallis is totally fine. Okay. Sure. Ugh, right into your crotch! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it, like, erupts in steam. Steam comes billowing out of its nostrils. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Good God. I love that their weak spot is their fucking crotch. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good job, whoever came up with that one. <laughs> okay. Let's pick into this. Got some quicksilver here for once. Not gold, huh? There we go. Very good. Are there actually two veins here? Nah, just one. Okay. Let's check over here. Yeah, look at all this shit. It's a bunch of fucking rocks and stuff falling all over the place. Okay. Oh, let's... Oh, oh, geez. Oh, okay. There we go. Good. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Let's continue down here past this terrifying looking thing. Can I activate it? I'd really like to not be shot by it, but, you know... I guess it may have to happen at some point. Let's take these gems. Wonderful. And you. Take that. Good. Oh, great. Are all these gonna, like, activate little dudes? Oh, no. I don't think any of them did, actually. Oh, no! Bats! Ah! <laughs> cool. They put these up here. That way they could get rid of the bats. You know. <laughs> the genius of the Dwemer. Each one of these gigantic bolts used to kill a single bat. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll get two. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. Oh, we 
we can go out on this. Fuck me. Fuck yes. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I have to jump. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. It had to be done. It had to be done. <laughs> we quick saved. It's fine. Okay. Over here. Like more of these. I bet one of these isn't a fake out. Yeah, there we go. Got any behind us? But we got one. Yeah. Rule of threes, you know. What have you got for us there, friend? Some oil. How about more oil? More gems? It never ends. And you? More oil? I'll take the moonstone. We'll leave the corundum and leave the metal. Okay. More pipes. Possibly decorative. You never know. Alright. Anything here? Is this some sort of strange, fun loop around? It is. Okay. Jump up that. Look at this room. Okay. Let's get some dudes flying out here at us. No? Okay. Spooky. Hmm. Neat room. Just a big junction for a whole bunch of pipes and some... I don't know. They almost look like transistors or something, huh? Turbines, I guess you would call them? Okay. Anything else over here? Steam turbines, right? Oh, look, here's our objective. It's Archender! Ho oh, there, Archender! Oh shit, you're blasting me with the big power. Okay. Oh, what have you done? You can teleport? Okay. Guess what I can do? Oh, it doesn't even work? Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> Got him. Wonderful. Reality and other falsehoods. Staff of Courage. Should I take it? I guess so. Elevator. We'll take the jewelry as well. Neat. Look at this. It's a big one. Can I, like, yell at it or something? I don't think so, because it's not one of the ones with the big pustules or whatever. Huh. How odd. What did they want? What did they do? Why was Periite so angry about him? Maybe we'll learn more on our return. Might have to check the old UESP to refer to, like, the beginning words that Periite said, because I was so distracted by the fun skeevers. Look, and there's a secret back area here, too. <laughs> okay. I think it's a, a sign of the modular dungeon pieces fitting together. Okay. Sure. Or Chender. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I think someone... Someone suggested that I resurrect them for some reason. I don't know why, but... Sure. Why not? For a bit, at least. What's it again? Dead Thrall. Oh shit, not enough juice. Okay. Huh. Do I have anything to buff up my Magicka real quick? Potion of Magicka? Is that enough? <laughs> nope. Hmm. How about... I mean, I guess we could use our ability that lets us cast for free. There we go. The ultimate discount. There we go. We're Chender! Now you work for me! Hey. Ugh. Maybe they do something special? I don't know. Like they vomit on people or something? Oh, look at the pipes and how they sort of arc back into the ground. They're like curved. Curved pipes. What's the world coming to? <laughs> Alright. Over here. 
We got anything else? Nah. Okay. Is this the elevator? Do you think we missed anything terribly important by our strange method of getting through the dungeon? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. And this is probably the loop around town. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Wow. All right. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we will return to the Shrine of Periite and seek out what Periite must say after all of our doings and see if we have earned Periite's fantastic boom. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs> <laughs>